What's going on, everybody? Uh, so, back at the bench. Um, I don't know if you've seen in that last silly video I made, uh, Doc flies my quad. I crashed uh, into the uh, post. And when I did that, see, I zip tied the motor and take the motor off. I need it secure, so I just folded that back, zip tied it, but broke my frame. But what I'm going to do is I got this stuff. Um, it's epoxy resin. Uh, it's made for like pouring in like tables or making molds out of really hard epoxy. So I'm hoping I can just smear this stuff all over this and then I'll drill holes in it at the end. You can't swap out the arms. This is all one solid frame. And this is my waterproof build. And if this works, I have tons of arms that I have destroyed that are just delaminated and, and kind of, you know, like that, like a deck of cards. If this stuff works, this could be great. So we're going to try this. Apparently it takes 10 hours to cure, 10 to, uh, well, it said 24 to 48 hours to cure. So it's going to be a while and hopefully we will have good results. If not, you probably won't be watching this video because it won't be a video. <laughs> I got some wax paper, I got some cups for mixing, I got the resin, bam, oops, I'm going to go with that, okay, equal parts. That's pretty good. It said stir for five minutes. Yeah, three to five minutes. Okay. Five minutes later. So see, these aren't completely broke. They're just kind of delaminated. And I think this will work really well. All right. All right. So I did something a little different here. I ended up basically just making like a little dam reservoir thing. So from there, we'll let that sit for you know a day or two. I'm not gonna touch it. And then we'll see what kind of strength that gives us. I don't have high hopes for this project, especially the way I'm doing it. But yeah, that's what I'm working with right now. We'll see how that goes. 24 hours later. But man, I put it on these. That, you can see how it's delaminated right there. And it is just not moving. I mean, that arm, it would flex, you know, a good bit. And it is not flexing at all. And I did, I think, four of them. You can see it's, I mean, it's totally broken right there. But still, nothing. No flex. It gets down in the cracks and just reseals it. Like... With this stuff, you almost don't have to worry about broken arms anymore. I mean, that's solid, man. That is super solid. I am super impressed with this. Like, crazy impressed with the arms. So let's see if we can get any of this off. So far, that piece is not moving. That is solid. So there it is. And what I was worrying about is the, a little bit of tilt to it, which it looks like... It has a little, but I don't know how much it will affect it. So yeah, I'll just drill these holes out, these four holes, so I can get mounting screws in there. Good stuff. Good stuff right here. Can't recommend it enough. I had no idea. I did not have high hopes for this at all. It exceeded my expectations by a lot. This is great. And all I really did is I just 
I laid aluminum foil and then I kind of just shaped it, giving it just about half an inch um, to just sit in there. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's get this last one in. See if we can't level it out a little bit. You would never know the difference. Maybe a little bit. Let's go fly it. think that would be uh, so stable. But it is. That's wicked. So bam. I can't believe that worked. I mean, I, I did not have high hopes at all. I thought for sure that little bit of angle that it's putting off there was going to just, you know, make it flip out. I don't know. I guess I was wrong a couple times. It flew well. I mean, yeah, uh, I'm super impressed with this. <clears throat> Get yourself some epoxy resin and fix anything. That's my message. Bam, bam, have a good day.